What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Pro Winston. I felt good when I came to Europe, but then I felt bad because I couldn't play Simon in top 32. Simon, when are you going to stop topping? Stop topping? Yes, you need to take a break. Uh, I thought I was, I was going to scrub this event, but I don't know. I, I came back. Yeah, a, a lot of people saw that, your, that yesterday's ranking was like 150 yeah, something. Before I disappeared, I was like down there. Like yeah, I thought you was in the hotel eating chicken. <laughs> yeah, well, I was, I was 2 0, then I, then I got magic shot, rapes, like proper rapes into 2 2. I was like, oh, this is over. Uh, I might as well play day one. I was so tired, and then you gave me some chicken, I was like, and, and some, someone else gave me some Red Bull. Pizza gave me some Red Bull. I was like, it's back, it's back. Won the rest, won the rest today. I lost a top 32, but yeah. How do you think the Americans did? They did pretty well. I mean, I honestly have to say that I didn't think that we're gonna, they were going to do that well. I think like maybe one will get in the top 32, but most of them, um, I think like at the start of day two today, three of them was X1, three of them were X2. So they had to win three more, like two of them, three of them had to win two more rounds, and then the other three had to win all three rounds at the top. I mean, that's really good. I mean, there was only 12 of them. So yeah, it's a really good result. Okay, and um, I know this is a very important question that you probably thought twice about answering, yes. but let me just ask you this question. What do, what section do you think is better? The Europeans or the American section of the game? There's no straight answer. Though. I mean, like... Um, okay, I, Where is it easier to top at? America. Why is it easier to top over there? Because, because first of all, I've been very lucky. Every single American event, I've been avoiding every single consistent player. I've not faced any name players. Like, I've not faced Billy, I've not played, faced Joe, I've not played Frazier, I've not played anyone who has consistently done well. Um, and second of all, I think the level, the top tier level of um, American players are roughly the same as the top tier levels of uh, European players. Like, there's not that much difference in skill. But the next level, America has a lot. America has a lot more players. We have, we have like 400 to about 800, maybe a thousand sometimes for our YCSs. Nothing like 2,000. Nothing like 4,000. And as you get more and more players, there will be more and more inexperienced players. And if there's more inexperienced players, for those players who won their top 16 round, please come to the featuremat area. See, that was not. If they haven't been with the coverage team yet. I was not, this is not a good place to say. Oh yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, if there's more players, then it's easy to face inexperienced players and it's easy to win. So, with that being said, the next tier of players, there's a lot more inexperienced players in America than there are of um, in Europe that come to YCS. So, like, in, a, in America, everyone loves going to YCS. I mean, like, it's a great atmosphere. They all go, they all have a lot of fun. But not all of them are there to win. They, they just want to have fun. They're not that experienced. And for the better players, that, that's really easy like, sometimes to win. But here, they only come if they rationally think they have a chance to win. So all of them, but not many, like, I say couple, but like, like maybe like 5% of them are actually hugely experienced. And then the rest of them, that's not top tier, is like, like pretty good um, and can win and you know every single round this tournament was really hard for me and always is so yes there's no definitive way of like saying which one's better I mean it's, but that's the, that's the best answer I can give any advice you can give to the American players that want to do better um, I've noticed a lot of cultural differences in America and sometimes it's not just in America but I've just noticed like we do this in Europe too they sometimes get a bit too overconfident. I mean, over I, I sometimes get a bit overconfident as well. And, you know, even even if you try to tell yourself this, you always sometimes, like, if you've done well, you, you, you kind of have it in the back of your head that, okay, I've done well before, I'm gonna do well again. And as, as, as much as I like to like, just shut that off, I can't do it. So with that being said, the Americans are more overconfident and they are, they're, they're more sure, are sure of themselves, which is a good thing. But you get complacent and, I guess when you lose, I, I always say this, when you lose, you don't blame the draws. You don't blame your opponent, you don't sulk, you just learn, you go through the games. You, you learn more from when you lose than when you win. So yeah. you go through the games and you think, okay, this situation, you know, if I would have done this, if I would have, some tour guide, you have so many, like, you have lots of options. But like, at that time, the best option may be to go to Zen mains, depending on what they're playing. And then if, in a few turns, that Zen mains actually cost them the game. And um, if it was the five, they would have won. So in that, 
at that very point when he's summoned to Orgard and Wayne sees that that's a good move. But later on, that's a bad move. And I, I see that as a, as a mistake. Most people want to be like, oh, I <laughs> I played, but yeah, this is our timeout, bro. <laughs> I, um, yeah, what was it? What was it yeah, most people will say, yeah, I played well at that point, so it's a good move. I played well. I didn't do anything wrong, but you did do something wrong. And in the end, it's still, a misplay is not a misplay. It might be really subtle, like that, or it might be like a hardcore misplay, like a misplay, like you attack into a Sabersaurus with, with a Cavazaurus, thinking it's bigger than it, and you lose the game, or something like that. That's a real hardcore mistake. Um, so, yeah, just like, Look through your games, there's always mistakes. And there's, even if there isn't actually any play mistakes, there might be situations where you had the advantage to bluff and to make and to take advantage of things that aren't you aren't drawing. Like, so, so for example, like when you're bluffing, you use a resource that's not actually there, not in your hand. You, you create a situation that is that shouldn't be there. And by doing so, if you do it well, then that changes their perspective of the game and that will change their decisions in, in the making. So you literally, you have like this invisible card that you literally just use and it changed the way they play and it just won you the game. So there's lots of situations in any game that at any point there's infinite amounts of bluffs that you can make, infinite amounts of reads that you might have missed, infinite amounts of um, of things that you, you, you just could have done and that, that was even a slight bit difference. Like, okay, your body language, okay, if you set, if you set a card too confident or too fast, you know, that little thing is like, if you're playing against an experienced player, they will pick up on that. I mean, if, if you did it on purpose to give them that information, then that's cool. But if you did it and you, you were just like too giddy because you're in the tops and everything, and that's your first time and you can't control your emotions, that's going to give them information away like crazy. So, um, in summary, just, you know, just practice, just practice with good people. You never blame anyone else for your losses, because that's the way you learn. And just, yeah. All right, well, thank you, Simon. Thank you. Well, we see you at the next YCS and where is it? Bolcom. Yeah. I want to go to another American. I hope it's not like someone nice. Like we don't want you over there, fucker, because you keep on topping. <laughs> they haven't announced any states. I, I, I'm really hoping there's one in Cali again or Florida or somewhere like Chicago or something like that. All right, well, I hope to see you in YCS Florida because I already booked my ticket. You what? already know if it's not pro, it got to go deuces. <laughs>